all probably heard the articulated tales on how AI will result in mass unemployment. But how will artificial intelligence properly replace humans without having emotions? The main goal of my talk is to help each and every one of you perceive the emergence of AI from a different perspective. Just like some of you believed that this image was depicting an aged man and a woman, while others saw it from a different point of view, seeing a cheerful young couple. Dating back to Aristotle, people believed that laborers would be made obsolete by complex tools. Later in the Industrial Revolution, we have a social movement against industrialization, featuring Ludits, who were weavers and textile workers, with their name originating from their leader, King Lut. The Ludits protested industrialization by smashing textile machines, thinking that eventually these machines would replace them. <laughs> this sounds ridiculous, right? It will be just like candle makers protesting the advent of electric lights, chimney sweeps relying against central heating, or perhaps stand-up comedians going against AI joke writers. Should we really hold back progress to appease such fears? People like Thomas Mortimer, an economist, believed that eventually the machines would exclude labor of thousands of human race who are usefully employed. In fact, many jobs did disappear, however new emerged in their place. In the 20th century, a group of scientists warned President Lyndon Johnson that computers would soon cause mass unemployment. And a decade later, an, an Oxford study estimated that 47% of U.S. jobs would undergo automation over the next decades. Nevertheless, the U.S. economy hasn't been crushed, and we can't see mass unemployment. All the previously biased opinions have been proven wrong, even shown in the article by 2022 Economist, quoting, Fears of a prolonged period of high unemployment didn't come to pass. The gloomy narrative which says that an invasion of job-killing robots is just around the corner has for decades had an extraordinary hold or popular imagination. Since it would be as if coal miners would fear to be replaced by wind turbine mechanics or telephone operators by iOS software developers. Let's ask ourselves again, do we really think that chefs should fear robotic cooking arms? Or should kindergarten teachers fear to be replaced by virtual classrooms? Can AI and robotics really run an economy without human involvement or the energy that we possess? Productive economies will adapt to technological changes better than non-productive economies. As the countries with productive people will use automation more effectively, lowering production costs, lowering prices, and with basic macroeconomic principles, this growing employment and the production within a country. Furthermore, some efforts have been made to automate entire call center operations via AI systems, which wasn't successful since novel consumer issues emerged which AI wasn't able to solve. Therefore, not all manual work can be handled by AI. For instance, a senior software engineer can't adjust the code with, without first manually handling it. A study by Harvard Research indicates that the cognitive abilities have high exposure to AI and can easily be replaced by it, while strength-based abilities like oral expression or originality have low or no AI exposure at all. Therefore, the more social interaction a job will require, the less exposure it will have to AI. Just like dancers don't have a significant encounter with artificial intelligence. Generally, AI is beneficial for young workers, since the less experienced workers can use automation more effectively, increasing their productivity and finding it easier to exploit opportunities. This also addresses income inequality, often referred to as the Great Convergence, a term coined by the economist Richard Baldwin. This increase in wealth among the less developed countries may also act as a geopolitical stabilizer. Furthermore, this issue can be addressed on a small organizational level. As Harvard Business School and Boston Consulting Group, HBS and BCG indicate, artificial intelligence agents won't only benefit the high-performing BCG analysts, but low-performing BCG analysts too. So in conclusion, the evolution of technology has dramatically transformed many industries, making some jobs obsolete but it also played a crucial role in creating new jobs. For instance, typists have lost their purpose, but on the other hand, social media managers emerged. Just like the music industry didn't fall apart when music was digitized, or the taxi industry wasn't eliminated because of the developing Uber's technology. Instead, AI has brought benefits, like it helped people find their soulmates through dating apps. 
In the end, are we those looted who rejected change or those workers who went through industrialization and saw a thriving economy after manufacturing tools became more advanced? Are we really those people who believe that artificial intelligence can replace us humans without having emotions? <laughs>